The Little Mermaid is about to come out in just a few days, and for months, we've been seeing backlash for this. And let's be honest, rightfully so, because pretty much everything they've put out has looked like garbage. We saw these trailers getting millions and millions of dislikes. And then, of course, we saw that Ariel had been race swapped, which means that it's not just that that you have to worry about. It means identity politics is at play throughout this entire thing. That's why you heard that they're going to change the romance because it's not good for modern sensibilities, that they were going to change lyrics, that they were going to change Ariel's story to be one that can be embraced by modern feminists because it's never just one thing. When woke ideology permeates a, pro or permeates a project, it's about all of this stuff. Well, now, just a few days before, they've released the soundtrack for The Little Mermaid. And it's actually not the things that they changed about the existing songs that people are upset about right now. It's a new song that they added, sung, or should I say rapped, by Aquafina. Now, this is causing a lot of problems because one, we're going to listen to this, Jeremy. It sounds like garbage. It sounds like shit and people are roasting it. But two, for all the woke lunatics who have been supporting this film and standing for this film, they don't like Aquafina because she got her career started rapping and she has a black scent and that's cultural appropriations and that or cultural appropriation. And that is not okay. You know, look at this ratio, 13,000 dislikes to 2.2 thousand upvotes. Here we go. You got to listen to this. It doesn't get much worse. Remember, Aquafina is Scuttle from The Little Mermaid. Hey, wake up, wake up, wake up. What? Hey, have you not heard that scuttlebutt? Your butt. No, the gossip, the butt. Remember the swamp? Remember my song in the swamp when I was like, wham, chick -a wham, wham, chick -a wham, wham. I remember. Well, and it just goes on and on and oh on. Oh my God. This is the new original song for The Little Mermaid. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 baby. What is you doing? Oh my goodness. What? the fuck is wrong with them they are catching a lot of heat for this uh because aquafina is involved because she's got the black scent she shouldn't be rapping i know a lot of people are worried that maybe holly bailey would be rapping in this but no it's actually aquafina as scuttle and it just again th these they wanted to make changes to make it better for the modern audience and in the process destroy so many things along the way but this is a brand new edition a brand new song that they decided that they needed so wow. that that's the newest cringe coming from the little mermaid just a wow. few days out so if you thought you just had to worry about the things they were changing think about all the new additions all the new additions that they're going to add to the little mermaid although the little mermaid has not officially released yet there are already some projections coming in. Although the, the box office projections here domestically have been increasing week after week, somewhere where it doesn't look like it's doing literally anything is China. Who would have thought that China wouldn't be interested in a race-swapped <laughs> Little Mermaid report <laughs> the Little Mermaid poised to flounder as Disney's worst 2023 opening in China? The Little Mermaid <laughs> secured a release date, but estimates suggest the live-action remake is on track for Disney's worst China opening in 2023. But it wasn't for lack of trying, Jeremy, because right now everybody is talking about this. This is the Chinese poster that is out there. Everyone's noticed something. Ariel looks very blue in this, doesn't she? Yes, she it's almost does. Almost like they've saturated the entire poster. So that you can't tell that she's black. China, hey, Ch Chinese people, you want to go to this now? It looks like another Avatar movie. You guys like those, right? You're good with those. Please don't, please don't notice that it's a black woman that we cast to play Ariel. And the projections are really bad. They're talking about potentially less than a $1 million opening weekend Ooh. in China. Like that, that's the projections. And I should put out there, I know this picture is going out a lot. Just for full transparency, there is another Chinese poster I have seen out there that's just a normal poster with Chinese lettering on it. But this one certainly seems to be the one that they're using for all the promotion everywhere in China. Mm -hmm. So it's just interesting. It's almost like Black Panther. It's almost like John Boyega. Yep. Very similar story. Yeah, and I mean, again, it goes back to the those that preach the loudest have the most to hide. You know, uh, like, does anybody, you know, w w if Disney wasn't constantly virtue signaling and constantly calling fans racist and sexist and misogynistic for not liking movies, would 
people really care that they use this marketing tool to try to maximize their profits in you know a place like China? No, it, it, you do what you got to do to make your money in a in a you know in, in that scenario. It's the fact that they have weaponized race and gender, and they have tried to tell you that all fans that criticize their product are racist and sexist. That's why they continue to get called out for their hypocrisy. People are sick and tired of their nonsensical virtue signaling and so when they do stuff like this it just continues to show how disingenuous they really are and you can see some of these these pre-sales that they're getting pre-sale tickets for china show no signs of reaction uh disney's live action finished sunday with a scary thirteen thousand dollar total after three days of pre-sales for the whole weekend could be the worst opening ever for a hollywood tentpole in china so put that in perspective Pre-sale tickets, they've sold $13,000 worth <laughs> for the entire country for opening weekend. <laughs> That's not good. Now, it certainly doesn't need China to be successful. The Little Mermaid, if it does well domestically, does well everywhere else. It doesn't need China to be successful, but it would certainly help. We're sitting here looking at Guardians of the Galaxy with a $70 million total so far from China. That's the only thing that's keeping the conversation from Guardians of the Galaxy turning from wow, that really doesn't look good to, hey, it could actually make money, mm -hmm. uh, is that China number. It doesn't look like the Little Mermaid can count on anything from China.